So I'm here today with John Wilmis from Progress Software. He's the Chief Technical Architect. We're here to talk about the Information Framework, also known as the SID. Hello, John. How are you? Good. Um, so I wanted to just first you know, ask you about, on a high level, what is the SID, uh, the Information Framework? Why is it important? Well, an information framework is a very important part of the overall NGOS collection of frameworks. The purpose of NGOS is really to define an environment from several perspectives, including a technical perspective, an information perspective, a process, and an application view. So those are all different viewpoints. And the information framework defines all of the essential entities and aggregations or groupings of entities that a business needs, particularly in a service environment. So it defines not only the essential business elements, but the relationships between them and some of their essential characteristics. So that helps in different applications uh, to, to kind of centralize well, it, the definitions it, of it data? Provides a, it provides a foundation in a couple of respects. Uh, one is that it's divided into key domains such as customer, business, uh, product, service, and so forth. And those same domains are also used in the other frameworks. And so the ETOM uh, business uh, process framework also focuses on those domains. That makes it easier to relate between different frameworks okay. so, that this, so that you know that they're talking about the same things. Okay. It's also important because when you look at developing interfaces between applications or developing a model that an application is going to be based on, if you have a, some common ground in discussing those business entities, then there's a good frame of reference that can be shared between businesses, between vendors. So that, exa that ex expedites the, the uh, development of services and so Especially forth. Especially ones that are interoperable with each other, yes. Okay. And so, what a, so you know, with all the benefits that it could facilitate, what are some of the challenges that the SID is facing right now? What are some of the... Well, one challenge actually is the uh, dramatic increase in the number of people that have become interested in it and the number of uh, service providers and systems integrators that are actually using it. The membership in the SID team has grown dramatically in the last couple of years. We have literally people joining every day now, uh, partly to keep track of the progress and in some cases actually to make active contributions. So one of the challenges is, ma is managing all the input that's coming in, the growth of information, the growth of uh, suggestions and change requests, and just adding all that into what's already there. Another challenge is managing people's uh, expectations about uh, changeability, educating people on how to use it, and uh, finding ways to apply revisions and changes without breaking what's already there, and that could be challenging in itself. So is there something being done to address those challenges? Uh, yes, there is. For example, there's a backwards compatibility task force that's looking at how exactly to define the limits and boundaries of changes that can be made and how often you can change things in such a way that they become incompatible with previous versions. That has to be very carefully managed. Okay. And you, you actually wrote a book, didn't you, uh, touching on some of this? Well, I was a co-author, co actually. John Riley was the instigator. So and do you want to tell us a little bit about the book? Well, the focus of this book is on application integration. There had been so, several previous books related to the definitions of the SID itself and how to how to use it, and this one really focuses on how to use it in specific cases of integration between applications, using it as a, as a groundbreaker or as a bridge between applications, as opposed to using it as the internals. Okay, and what's the name of the book? Application Integration with the SID. Okay, so, and how can people uh, get the book? Well, the easiest way if they're here at the conference is to go by the Progress booth, but it's available on the TM Forum website as well. Okay, great. Well, I want to thank you, John, for explaining, um, you know, a little bit about this sit on a high level and, and uh, where it's going, where it's, how it's evolving. Certainly. Thank you. Thank you.